Leon Verse is an outspoken advocate for our transgender youth. He is an intern at the Sacramento Gender Health Center and a former women's basketball player for the California State University, Sacramento. Leon Burst. Good evening. Had to bear with me, I'm a wee bit nervous. All right. So when asked if I want to participate in this special event, immediately I say yes. Without a doubt in my mind, the answer was yes. Five minutes after the phone call, I looked in the mirror and I shouted, what am I gonna say to all these people? But here I am today. Although I was already introduced, but first off, let me start by saying that I'm honored to be standing in front of you today. And I felt extremely blessed to represent the youth in our unique community on this day. For those of you who do not know me, here's a snippet. I'm Leon Burse, a 22-year-old African-American proud trans man from East Palo Alto, California. I'm a former women's basketball player at Sacramento State, where I competed four years of intense college basketball. Currently, I still attend Sac State, and I'm a semester away from graduating with my BA in social work, planning to attend for my master's in the same field. I am a strong youth advocate, interning at the Gender Health Center. I am on the Trans Advisory Board at Sac State. I promote change, and most importantly, I am your brother. Amen. This candlelight visual stands to represent all the young lives and souls we have lost to unwanted and unnecessary violence towards our trans brothers and sisters. As we look at all the candles awaiting to be lit, we are brought back to all the emotions that we feel as another life has been taken away from us. These candles represent hate crimes, unwanted deaths, but even more devastating are the amounts of suicides. Even though we are here representing all ages of the trans community, I stand here today and say, we can do more for our trans youth, for they are our future. They will lead the future marches, the future trans, and open the gates for our fellow trans brothers and sisters. If we sat here and looked at all the ages of those we are remembering on this day, we have to take into account that they too were once youth. For myself, being a part of the youth community and having the older trans community stand behind me, support me, and believing in me has allowed me to live truly pure and authentic. I thank all of those who have impacted my life positively and have shaped me into the man you see before you today. I applaud all the youth who live free, but I praise our community for living as bold as we have so far. But the time is now for us to make a stand, for us to change the way the rest of the world views our lifestyles. We have to say no more to the unwanted brutality, no, one, no more to the countless attacks, and no more to being invisible. We have to stand up and walk as one for one another. We, and yes, each and every one of us, have to be willing to fight for our fellow community members who cannot fight for themselves. Let's take a minute to reflect. This past year has been full of hate and unwanted sorrow. What will next year look like? But if we stand and fight as one unit, as one community, and as one family, we too can make noise and change will come. I fight, I stand, and I lay my heart on the line for the youth. So I ask you, my brothers and sisters, my community, how much more are we willing to take until we take charge, speak out, and make things happen for the community? I started, so when will you? Thank you.